Hey everyone, my name is Lim and today we are looking at this month's free PlayStation Plus game, Gauntlet Slayer Edition. Normally costing $20, this four player co-op dungeon slash em up is an extended re-release of the game of the same name released last year. Fans of the Gauntlet series will find a lot to love here. The gameplay is still pure Gauntlet at its heart and the grind is real. Everything in this game revolves around gold. Lots and lots of it. The weapons, relics and armour all cost rather a lot of gold and you have to replay levels a fair few times if you want to unlock all of the gear across the four different characters. Herein lies the game's biggest problem, in my opinion. The repetition. The missions you play in this game aren't particularly varied. Each mission plays out roughly the same. You walk through a few corridors, you get some chicken, and you get some gold. You destroy a statue that respawns enemies, you use keys or bombs to access little areas with a bit of extra gold, you'll fight a big tanky dude, then you'll move on to the next level. If you have friends to play this with, then the repetitive formula of the levels is slightly less painful. Stealing your friends gold and destroying their health when they desperately need it will never get old. Something I've enjoyed and I think worked in the game's favour is the variety within the characters. Each of the four heroes feels unique and each have their own abilities and play styles and interplay with each other, complementing different attacks and combos. The graphics aren't anything to write home about in all honesty. Bland drab areas with generic repetitive enemy designs. The level slash menu screen is pretty ugly with a Mario 3 style interface of round blobs for levels that you scroll between. Audio design is much the same. Repeated hacking noises and relatively uninteresting music plays in the background on repeat. But in all honesty, you aren't playing this game for the graphics or for the sound design. You're playing it purely for the gameplay. And that's where this game excels. There is something inherently satisfying about using a special ability to cut through swords of enemies leaving a bunch of skeleton corpses in your wake and throughout the time I spent with the game this feeling didn't go away. Whilst the level design got boring fast the gameplay stayed fun so there's something that is definitely in the game's favour. In terms of new additions to this version in comparison with the original version one of the main things they've added is the bonus levels. He's mainly boiled down to surviving waves of enemies in return for extra gold. So whilst the extra content is always good, it isn't massively interesting. It's just a play on a horde mode without any customization at all. There's also a new mode called Endless, where as the name suggests, you bop enemies till you die, and the longer you survive, the more gold you get. While I'm testing the game, the matchmaking experience was good. The game you see here I played with friends and there were no connection issues at all. And I also played a level to test with random people and that worked perfectly fine too. And we were in a game within a minute. For a market where there isn't anywhere near as many good co-op games as there should be, this is definitely a welcome addition. It's a fun little game to play with friends but its longevity is limited unless you intend on grinding out every single piece of weapon and armour for every single character. Do you have friends to play this with? Then if yes you should definitely give this a try. If you are planning on having a solitary experience then in my opinion it isn't worth it. At the end of the day it is free for this month through PlayStation Plus so you can give it a try for yourself. Gauntlet isn't designed to be a solo experience and I think you can tell. So my name is Lim, this was Gauntlet Slayer Edition and I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you again next time.